Shut up and sit down. Hello, everyone. I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, I got a comment on one of the videos I made about um, uh, creating faces and, and embossing on rounded objects in Fusion 360 about uh, not being able to do it on a triangle. Uh, so I've been playing around with Fusion a little bit. Um, I uh, have been able to do it. So I'm going to make this video real quick for uh, Peter um, and see if we're doing the same thing. And um, hopefully maybe it'll help some other folks out as well. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is start with a sketch uh, on the plane here. And we're going to create a, a triangle. And then we're going to expand the triangle here. Um, to uh, make a cone. Um, apologize uh, if you hear the 3D printer running in the background here. It's uh, printing something, so it comes too annoying. I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. So we will um, create a revolve around the y axis here, create a cone. I'm not sure if this is what he meant by a triangle or if he meant an actual three dimensional triangle, um, which in that case it's just a flat. Um, face, so I'm not sure what that means there. So, um, all right, so we have our uh, we have our cone here. Uh, the next thing we want to do is create an offset plane on the cone, and the easiest way to do that is go into construct here and create a tangent plane. Uh, we want to select this uh, face um, as the face we want to look at. Now, in this case, though, uh, we want the um, uh, face to kind of be uh, parallel, perpendicular. Uh, we're gonna look at it to the to the front of the um, the front of the drawing. So we're just going to kind of tweak this a little bit until it becomes uh, straight-ish. Sixty-one. There we go, that's what we're going to get. Okay, so now that we have the construction plane here, we can actually um, create some text on the construction plane. And what the construction plane does here is it actually um, creates the angle from which we would be embossing on. The reason we want the plane to be on the same angle as the cone is if you create a vertical plane and then you project the face onto the cone, uh, the text will not end up where you place it per se. It will actually be projected um, down or up depending on which way you're projecting it and where the, where the plane was. So I actually want to create an offset plane off of this guy just a little bit, um, make things a little bit easier. So we will turn off that plane and then we'll try this here. Uh, I just want to show you uh, there's a bug in Fusion about um, uh, creating uh, text on planes and it screws up the orientation a little bit. Yeah, so it's going to be backwards. Um, so I'm going to do it upside down and backwards here just to show you real quick. Uh, it, this has actually become very annoying for me. Um, so the long and short of it is uh, Fusion is confused about the axes by which the construction plane was created and actually thinks that the the y-axis is pointing uh, in the opposite direction it is, which makes everything um, upside down and backwards. So effectively what you need to do is rotate it to the back, right? Um, and then once you have it on the black, the back, turn it upside down. Um, and actually from the front, there you go. I guess it's just rotated in this case. And the text looks right. Um, this is super, super annoying for anyone who uses text a lot. Um, and there is a workaround, which I'll show you at the end, but in this case, we'll just do this real quick. Um, so now that we have our text, we want to right click on the text. We want to click explode, stop text. Um, so now you can see we have the text exploded on the same general plane there. Uh, now we can say modify split face. Uh, this is the face we want to split. split for this, the, tool is uh, the letters here and um, Fusion, a uh, new version of Fusion by the way, added this uh, new thing called Closest Point, um, which is really great because it just splits on the uh, closest point rather than splitting all the way through the, the surface, which is really awesome. Um, and apparently that one doesn't work. I haven't tried that one before, but anyway, uh, Closest Point works awesome. Now there you go, you have your uh, 
face it is split it is both rounded you can see here and angled and then you can uh, select it um, so I want to go to press pull sorry uh, select it and in this case if you want to do an emboss um, it's awesome all right, so uh, now real quick, uh, the workaround. Uh, so let's go back, turn our construction plane on. If we are to, uh, we will create a, a sketch on this. We will create a rectangle, um, generally, just like that. Stop the sketch. Um, we will take this, we will extrude it just a little bit. OK, and I'll click uh, on that rectangle there and say create sketch on that plane um, and add your text and miraculously the text is the right size um, 0.5 so out uh, the right orientation I mean uh, so I, I don't know what's going on there uh, this has been something that's actually been going on for quite some time um, with fusion uh, I've googled it uh, quite a lot um, is annoying to me. Anyway, explode the text, uh, stop the sketch. Um, now you can go in and you have that extra body there. You can actually remove the body. Um, oh, okay. I'd really like to know what setting they, they what they changed with this pan and tilt uh, that causes things to run around like that. It's uh, super annoying to me. So again, uh, split the face. Uh, select the face, select the split, um, boom, there you go, you have your split, you can press pull it again, um, there you go, uh, same, same, end up with the same result, uh, it's curved, it's on the angle, good to go, obviously the text is not upside down, um, so that's a, that's a quick technique I was looking at, um, any questions, leave them in the comments below as always, if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, uh, please, as always, give it a thumbs up, and we hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye.